That's the most important thing. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Encompass Live. We run a show about all kinds of topics every Wednesday at 10 o'clock Central Time. So here we are today at 10 o'clock Central Time. And we're fortunate to have with us today Kara Marcus, Resource Center Manager, National Rural Transit Assistance Program. And I'm just going to ask her to start uh, share her screen to show us her slideshow and let you get started. Thank you for being here. Good morning, everybody, and I'm very uh, happy to um, be here from Nebraska Library Commission. And I want to start out before I even get into uh, an inside look at the National RTAP Library for a big shout out to Nebraska uh, that really holds a special place in my heart. Because when I started as a brand new uh, staff person at National RTAP, the very first uh, technical assistance conference that we were planning and hosting took place in Omaha, Nebraska in 2017. So it was my first big travel with National RTAP, bringing the library to beautiful Omaha. And of course, after the conference, what does a librarian do uh, before she hops on the plane? Takes a quick jaunt over to the public library. So I did get to see one of the uh, great branches of the uh, Omaha Public Library. So hello everybody from Nebraska and thank you Nebraska for this. So uh, you can all see the screen that talks about an inside look at the National RTAP Resource Library. I know some people in the audience will be uh, librarians and information managers and other will be in the transit industry. So I want you to know there's something for all of you in this webinar. And um, everyone can be a library user of our library because everybody uses transportation. So, and uh, if you don't, we hope this webinar will uh, make you do so. So, uh, you can see a lot of the book covers of the books in our library. We do have actual print books and we have a whole slew, of course, of online books, resources, and other tools. But one thing that's special about our library is that we produce including writing, editing, uh, working with uh, national subject matter experts, uh, uh, including our own review board members, and um, publishing our own books. We have dozens of titles, and they're on everything you could want to know about rural and tribal transit and other issues in uh, transportation. So let's get ready for a look inside the library and beyond the library. So here we go. And can I interrupt just for a minute because I forgot to tell people if they have questions, they can type them in the question box on their um, screen. There's a, a control panel or whatever you want to call it. And one of the things is questions. So you can type that in there and I will ask your question to our presenter in a timely manner, I hope. But also you could ask to have your um, your microphone unmuted so you could ask your question yourself. Thank you for letting me interrupt. Now we'll go back to Kara. Okay, wonderful. All righty. So uh, I'm Kara Marcus, the Resource Center Manager for National RTAP. For those of you unfamiliar with us, I'll be certainly explaining who and what we are soon. And um, I got to know about NC Compass and uh, Nebraska Library Commission through a recent all-day conference they had, Big Talk for Small Libraries, which was really a, a great opportunity to find out about a lot of solo and small libraries doing amazing things. Now, I'm not a manager for a solo library. I have a fabulous library assistant, Rachel Hobson. Um, we talked about all those books. She's the one who actually ships thousands and thousands of books each year. So let's talk about National RTAP. Okay, what is National RTAP? So it's an acronym, and uh, we do have an acronym glossary in our library. The full name is National Rural Transit Assistance Program. 
Now, we're the only national rural transit assistance program, but every state and um, all of the U.S. territories also have their own rural transit assistance programs. We are a program of the Federal Transit Administration, the FTA, since 1987. We've been around a long time, and we're also administered locally in Massachusetts by the Neponset Valley Transportation Management Association, TMA. So we have headquarters in Woburn, Massachusetts. It's a little north of Boston with our executive office in Washington, DC. That's where our executive uh, director and assistant work. So what do we do? Our mission is that we are dedicated to creating public and rural transit solutions in America. So uh, transit uh, in terms of national RTAP is um, bus transportation. So there's other transit uh, agencies that handle rail transportation or even ferry is considered transit, but we're all about the buses, and that includes shuttles, vans, all kinds of buses. And uh, like I said, we do, um, in a way, cover some aspects that reach over into other transportation, but we're really about uh, transit buses. So we provide technical assistance, and uh, for you librarians, that's sort of in-depth uh, research help and um, assistance uh, to help organizations with really any of their needs in uh, management and operations. Uh, we have partner collaboration. Uh, you can look at our partners on our website and see uh, just some of the agencies. We list the major ones that we collaborate with to fulfill our mission. And here's a word that everybody likes, free. We provide free training, free webinars, uh, free uh, conference training, and uh, free transit products, our books, our discs, um, our e-learning. Um, we'll be covering everything in this webinar to rural and tribal transit organizations. So here I wanna explain who can use our resources. Now, every one of you on this call, whether you're rural or tribal or not, can use our free resources through our website and our resource share catalog that are available as full text PTFs. I will explain some of our resources, such as our web apps and our e-learning, that are available to our rural and tribal transit organizations. So rural is considered with a population under 50,000. Um, for our purposes, that includes transit service, that includes, you know, a wide variety, public transportation, demand response, dial-a-ride, all kinds of things, and um, organizations uh, serving transit on tribal areas and Indian reservations, and also intercity transportation uh, with travel in rural areas. So, our Resources are also available to transit industry researchers, librarians and information specialists, of course, and students. We really do want people to access and use our resources. Now, I talked about shipping, and the shipping is available to the uh, people on this list. But if you have questions about whether you can access any of our resources or whether we'll ship your resources, please just ask. We're always happy to explain and um, we want to get the resources to everybody who needs them. So here's another picture of the books on our library shelves. And most libraries, if they do, still have print resources. And uh, we're very, very happy that we do uh, have them vertical and you just see the spines. But because we uh, work in volume, we ship the resources to our end users and to conferences. Um, we have sort of piles of our, our books in alphabetical order. So again, they're free. They're very high quality. They're peer reviewed by um, a number of people. So each book before it hits the shelf, it's probably edited by a good team of, uh, you know, at least uh, four people and it's, it's really scrutinized. So, our resources are rural and tribal transit focused, but they can also be used by other transportation uh, 
professionals. I mean, something like customer driven service, talking about how to uh, perform good customer service. It's applicable to anybody doing transportation or really anybody. And our resources include, like I said, our books uh, in hard copy, and also we have hard copy discs, DVDs, and CD-ROMs, and we have e-learning. Not everything that we include in book form is in e-learning and vice versa. Uh, we have um, a lot of overlap, a, lo a lot of discrete offerings. And then we have technical briefs. So um, while we have just a couple of dozen of uh, hard copy and e-learning titles, technical briefs, we have hundreds. And um, we're constantly delivering new technical briefs and updating our existing technical briefs. And they're anywhere from two to about 15 pages. So whereas our books can be over 100 pages, our technical briefs really just give you a brief introduction to a topic that you need to know. We also have articles. We have best practices spotlight articles and we have other web articles. And we'll be talking more about a lot of these things in detail on future slides. We have toolkits, which are uh, really online encyclopedias drilling down about specific topics. And we're very excited that one of our major toolkits is in the process of an update, and it will be uh, rolled out next month. So our web-based applications, which we'll also be talking about more, we call affectionately apps. And uh, we have um, a couple of them, and uh, they're really unique to National RTAP. They're uh, pretty much uh, ours alone. So we also have webinars. Here's a webinar we're doing with the uh, Nebraska Library Commission, but we do webinars regularly, usually at least one a month. And those are also just like the one today. Uh, recorded and available on our website when we do them as our own webinars. And we include any handouts and presentations, and um, you can view our whole webinar archive. So that's what's in our library. We'll be taking a look at the library online public access catalog called Resource Share. But we don't only, only have our own uh, materials. I mean, every library has materials by other authors and publishers. So we have hundreds of relevant resources by uh, the top organizations um, in the transit industry, by national organizations, government organizations, universities and colleges, um, nonprofits, uh, researchers, etc. So if you are looking for something about rural and tribal transit, transit in general, you can search our resource share catalog and you, you will find um, really curated resources and current. And um, you won't get a thousand hits, you won't get one hit, you'll get a good amount of hits. So here's what our online portal, our in library terms OPAC looks like. It's called Resource Share. And you get to it if you're on our nationalrtap.org website by clicking on the resource library button under resource share and it's pretty easy to use you see a little search box you can search our resource share you can browse it you can read our user guide about how to find resources we have uh, topic guides which if you click on those you'll find um, a list of what we think are the top resources on a specific topic one we added pretty recently would be uh, very applicable to a lot of areas now that unfortunately have been impacted by disasters. We've recently added a disasters topic guide with uh, things like transit's role in disasters and planning for disasters and recovery from disasters. So we have a lot of other topic guides as well. We feature new resources if you wanna see what's new. And we have some unique standalone products in the buttons below. Rural INTD data is a rural component of the NTD National Transit Database that we work with uh, Florida State University for and um, FTA to um, bring something that's uh, data just for rural uh, transit. 
Uh, we have a link to our e-learning and we have a link to our directory of trainers, which I'll be demoing later in a slide. If you need help when using Resource Share, help is on the way. We're here nine to five, Monday through Friday. And if you need help when uh, we're not here, please leave a message or an email. We'll talk more about our Resource Share account which I uh, hope you all sign up for to better use our resources. And a resource catalog is different than resource share. It's um, a list of all of National RTAP produced resources minus the partner resources that you'll find in resource share. So that way, if you want to see what we produce in all formats and how they map to different roles, which we'll talk about later too, you can easily download and print out a list. Okay, so you've probably used, or if you're a librarian, even developed a lot of library portals. So this one is pretty easy to browse. You can browse by subject and or you could browse by format. If you go into the advanced search, you can browse by both subject and format. So there's a lot of major subjects if you click the little triangles next to them, you'll get um, sub-subjects or um, parts of subjects. And um, for example, browsing the subject planning and design displayed 126 items. And these are some of the items that it included. You can see there, they're right on target for transit for planning and design. It's very, very different than doing a, a web search. Uh, where you search on your browser and you'll probably find a lot of advertisements and um, links that don't work and all kinds of things. You'll really find what you need here. So you can browse and of course you can search. And here I am holding one of our books, Risk Management for Rural Transit Managers. So if you wanna search for that, you can search by keyword, risk or risk management. If you know the whole title, you can search for the whole title. You can search for a word in the abstract. You'll find it if you search for risk, uh, format, uh, search for hard copy, uh, organization, search for national RTAP. If you do know the publication date, you can search that way. And publication date is good to search for just sort of our newest items too. So let's, let's uh, get out of the PowerPoint for a minute and we'll try looking for this. And um, say we search for risk management. See, if you've searched for it before, it'll pop right up, sort of a nice feature. And uh, we show four. And if you didn't know, we also had an insurance and risk management tech brief that's helpful. Here it is, risk management for rural transit managers research handbook. Wonderful, see how easy this is. But if, um, say you want to, search for it by subject, browse by subject, management and administration, ah, insurance and risk management, there it is. And uh, it's very easy to find um, even more resources because these will also display resources that have been linked for insurance, not just risk. And everything will have related items, so you can play around with that and really find things that um, you may never have known have existed, but um, will be very helpful to you in your own research and learning. Okay, going back to the slideshow. Kara, as you go back to the and, slideshow. Oh, I showed. I'm sorry, we do have a yeah. question. They're asking. How do we find if there is a rural and tribal transit service in Nebraska? And maybe you want to answer that later, but I thought I'd plant it now so you can be thinking about that because I know you're on your slideshow. Um, okay, yeah. Yes, and I do have a couple of slides that talk about that. And we'll have time after this to go online and sort of go through some of those questions and pinpoint how to do that. Thank you. Um, we have a directory of state RTAP managers where you can search for Nebraska. And we also have FTA tribal liaisons. So you can search for Nebraska in that list as well. So you'll find a lot of um, resources 
easily on our website. That that wouldn't be in our library necessarily, but like I said, we're going to be going outside of the library um, on our website, so you'll see a lot of our other resources. Um, hope that answered your question, but we'll we'll actually I'll remember that and we'll do it at the end. Thank you. So I put some. Uh, oh, you're welcome some little free icons, little lock open to remind you that everything we put in resource share is free and full text. Okay, and if we have it available for download in PDF, when you get to a resource, you'll see this downward facing arrow green. And if it's not, that means that the link will be green because if it's a partner resource, obviously we can't include it, their PDF on our uh, library portal but we can link to their full text. So if it is green for download, click the little icon, then click the download file uh, button, and then voila, it will appear as a PDF in the left-hand bottom of your screen. And our um, resources are not copyrighted. We do want you to use them in your research, certainly you know, with attribution, and you know, ask if you have a question about that. But uh, you can, um, with our resources, if you get one that's helpful for your own users, you can share it uh, even through email with a whole batch of users without having to uh, worry about the copyright. You can photocopy it uh, for all your users and ditto. So um, we do want you to download and use our resources. So that brings us to the next slide. Please share. And resource share is truly meant to share. In addition to the downloads and the links, um, we have for our own resources that we produce permalinks. They have um, an advanced search, an ID, looks like that. And um, soon we're going to be adding um, recommended citations. So um, we'll do a recommended citation for our own resources that has a standard format, and then uh, we'll be starting to add them for our partner resources in the way they would like them to be cited. So that's going to be our, our next big project. But um, we, we will always be happy if you let us know that you've used our resources in a bibliography and um, you know any other way that, that you think um, would be helpful. Uh, you can with attribution, even use uh, parts of our figures, just let us know. So we're always updating our resources, as we said. The permalinks with the FIDs will always work. But if you use uh, bibliography with our documents, before you do your own updates, check the dates in our resource share catalog to see if we've updated it. And then you'll change your own date in your own bibliography to go along with the current date. Okay, so I said that you can apply for a resource share account. And one of the things you can do with that is um, save favorites. So if you really like um, the document I showed you before, risk management or any of the others, once you create an account, which will um, basically you just click on create an account and follow the steps. It's free, of course. Um, once you're logged in, Click the little um, star button and save it as a favorite. Even our partner resources you can save as a favorite uh, while you're in resource share. So then you can see your viewed favorites so you don't have to search for that darn, oh, what was that uh, document I really, really liked? I forgot the name. It'll be in your favorites. Now, ordering uh, to have materials shipped to you, as I said earlier, that's um, only for rural and tribal transit agencies, but um, you also need a uh, resource share account. You can do it in a number of ways. You can call us, email us, chat with us, come to the library, or you can do it through resource share. If it has a little green cart icon, again, it has to be one of our own icons, not our partner icon. And it's just like any online shopping, only it's free. Uh, click the little Add to Cart, then click the View Cart, then uh, confirm your order. You'll get an email that your order is placed, 
And then when it's shipped to you, you'll get a uh, shipping confirmation, like a little receipt. Uh, and it's as easy as that. If you made a mistake with your order, you can uh, you know, update it. Uh, you can ask us to cancel it. We're, we're very pleased to you know, do anything you need with your orders. And with many of our resources, uh, you can order up to 100 at a time. If you're doing a training or if you're at a conference, that's very helpful for putting out on a table. A lot of people do do that. All right, let's talk about some of our um, projects that we've done. I've been here for two years, and one of the first projects I wanted to do, um, almost two years, actually, it'll be two years in August, was um, a collection development project. When I first got here, I thought Resource Share was really great, but there were a lot of things in it that needed updating or weeding. So, uh, you know, the adage, you can't see the forest for the trees. Um, once I did the first comprehensive weed, uh, people were really, really using resource share a lot more and finding what they needed a lot e more easily. Some of the things it had in it that it did not need were our newsletters. Our newsletters were already in the newsletter part of our website. So people were searching for keywords and finding all these keywords from our newsletters about conferences that have already passed. It wasn't useful. So develop this forest collection development <coughs> excuse me, collection development model. And it's an acronym. Format. <coughs> and for our um, we do what I said in one of the earlier slides, uh, technical briefs, webinars, etc. <coughs> Certainly um, the age, whether it's the oldest, the newest, or somewhere in between. Rapidly changing topics. So <clears throat> something might not be too old, but it might be about a technology that's changed drastically in the last year that might need updating or weeding. <clears throat> Ease to update. Obviously, a two-page technical brief is easier to update than a 100-page uh, training module. Substantial utilization. We uh, do a lot with collecting data about what's used and what's clicked on and what's downloaded. It's all anonymous. We don't look at the data for who did it. And um, then uh, training about a national RTAP product that was updated. So when we update something, like we're updating the Transit Manager's Toolkit, we'll very likely do a webinar about how to use it. So whenever we update something, we also update our training about it. So with all of our national RTAP products, we use the whole forest model. But when we do an annual weeding, usually in the summer, for um, our partner resources, we use just four FOR out of forest. Um, and that does the trick. So uh, this model was shown in the 2018 Transportation Research Board TRB conference as a poster. And um, you're, you're welcome, uh, librarians, to, to use it if you find it would be helpful for your own collection development. And even organizations, if they're thinking about what they want to use and keep in terms of knowledge management, uh, it's helpful. Okay, the second big project was the Resources by Roles project. I mentioned our resource catalog, and um, that's downloadable, and hope you all take a look at it. So it lists all of our national RTEP resources. So one of the things our review board wanted us to do was um, have lists of which of our resources are useful for drivers, which are useful for heads of agencies, which are useful for administrative staff maintenance staff. So to do that, um, I sort of worked it into a, a whole project involving um, our staff, our review board, and development of a specialized job title taxonomy based on national classifications like the Transportation Research Thesaurus, TRT, and others. Um, and original research, National RTAP did a transit manager survey uh, to get a document on uh, transit 
salaries and job descriptions. So we started out with a batch of roles. Then we worked with our review board to uh, get more roles and uh, vote on which roles should be in the resources by roles. And then um, map them to uh, and what you see on the right, um, sort of a you know, sort of finding aid for what roles contain what, and then mapping them to each of our resources. So each of our resources um, can potentially be used by multiple roles, but um, what we did was develop lists of 15 or fewer resources. Uh, for that are the key resources for each of those roles. So if you're an agency and you have a new driver uh, from day one, what should they really read? Um, if you are um, a new person serving on a board of a transportation agency, what should you read? And we did a survey a couple of months after the project was completed, and we found that it was really being used without that much advertising. 60% uh, of those surveyed used the resources by roles through our resource catalog, and half of them used them by um, our resource share online portal. And probably even more now, and I sure know it's being used because I'll get an email, oh, we have these new drivers coming in, could you send us? And it's the exact list from our resources by roles. So it's very, very useful. And um, as we develop new resources, we'll add new roles, um, add them to our existing roles. We so far haven't seen the need to uh, create any new roles. Um, but this was also a poster at the 2019 TRB annual meeting. Okay, the project we just finished which uh, was a great project with help from our uh, tech support team, was a customized customer relationship management. And this is not anywhere where anybody can see it. It's just for uh, the National RTAP staff to have a really good way of keeping track of our information requests and being able to um, very, very quickly help our users connect our users with subject matter experts, and um, being able to duplicate questions in a, a knowledge base. So if we just got the same question last week, okay, we can probably answer it again this week uh, in a second. So I worked with um, Special Libraries Association and Massachusetts Library System to sort of find the lay of the land and what CRM uh, software and platforms they were, did a, uh, an analysis of which would work best for our system, and uh, we decided upon a, a Zoho developer customized um, CRM. So this is what it looks like, and I'm in it every day with people who ask questions, and it gets easier and easier the more that's in it. So this is a project that's a lot of fun and useful. All right, so I promised you we were going outside of the library a little, so get on your walking shoes. And um, one of the things that we do every other week, in fact, is coming out tomorrow, if you want to sign up for it, if you're not already on it, I hope you do, is e-news. This is open to anybody who wants to read it. And it's a newsletter um, it, showing the top of it here that features um, some news from National RTAP and a featured resource, either something new or updated. And uh, the bottom of it is industry-wide resources and events, stuff about FTA and US DOT, Department of Transportation, um, all the uh, relevant um, conferences, webinars, trainings in the industry, uh, different featured resources from our partners that are new and um, all kinds of oh grants and funding opportunities. Everybody wants to know about that. And uh, important legislation, and we'll do summaries of uh, easy to understand, just a little blurb about what the major takeaways are from each of those things. And um, to sign up, just go to our website, nationalartap.org, click on news, click on e-news, and there's a, a free sign up button, couldn't be easier. And you can always opt out if you don't want it. So e-learning, 
um, that is only um, given to rural and tribal users. Um, if you have questions about e-learning, there's a special email for that. It's e-learning at nationalrtap.org to see if you qualify or if you have questions about using it. And you can see um, it has some of the same titles, like I said, as our uh, hard copy and online training modules, but some other special ones as well, uh, like the Title V program requirements for FTA grantees um, is one specific to e-learning. And e-learning is very, very interactive. There's videos, there's quizzes, there's, um, it's like you're in a college or university when you're on it. You can get certificates. Um, if you're a transit agency, uh, you, you can be an administrator, so all your learners or students uh, can sign up and you can track their progress and whether they passed or failed. So uh, it's great if you, um, you know, have any questions, email e-learning and on the website before you email them, uh, there's a whole getting started guide. So uh, that provides easy instructions about how to get set up with e-learning. Okay, I mentioned web apps. So uh, these are online applications and they're very, very cool. So again, these are only applicable for rural and tribal transit agencies. We have GTFS Builder. So uh, generalized transit specifica feed specification, um, yeah, people might have heard of things like Google Transit. So if you want to have these specialized maps on your website um, showing your routes, showing your bus stops, you can do it with our free uh, web app from GTFS Builder. And there's videos about how to do it. Uh, there's really easy step-by-step -step instructions. And even people who aren't that familiar with GTFS can use the easy spreadsheets to set it up. There's, for all of our web apps, there's technical support if you need it too. Procurement Pro, if any of you are FTA grantees, uh, you need to follow special procurement rules for your uh, federal clauses and certifications. So Procurement Pro will not only help you with what type of procurement you need to do, uh, what type of clauses and certifications you need, it will build the whole RFP, IFB, um, request for proposal, invitation for bid, et cetera, that you need to send out to be in compliance with FTA. So good news, if you haven't heard this, we recently launched um, Procurement Pro 2.0. It's bigger, better, faster than uh, the one before. And um, there's, there's new webinars about how to use it. So if you haven't used it since February 14th. Hope you take a look. We think we like it. Uh, website Builder is just what it says. It's for rural and tribal transit agencies to build a get this free website with easy to use templates and tools and logos and colors. And uh, there's beautiful examples of agencies that have used our Website Builder tool uh, in the Website Builder uh, part of our website. And if you don't have a website and you're a rural or tribal transit agency, um, please work with our technical support people. Or if you want to, tr you know, try it with the webmaster on your own, you're welcome to too. So there's this um, going to be an update for that within the next year too. Okay, to do all these, you need to be in the National RTAP cloud. On the top of our nationalrtap.org website, you'll see a cloud sign up and a cloud login. Um, again, if you have used it in the past, but not since February 14th, you will need to sign in again. Okay, I mentioned toolkits, and we have these uh, wonderful encyclopedic toolkits. They have um, hundreds of pages. And we have one for the Americans with Disabilities Act. And this is you know, how to provide uh, compliant transit to persons with all kinds of disabilities under the ADA. A bus rodeo toolkit, a little different than a horse or bull rodeo. This is uh, buses who are going through obstacles and it's a great form of driver training. Um, the one I uh, update regularly, the Find Anything toolkit, 
is how to uh, really uh, do the best kind of searches and find anything you need about transit um, on the web and libraries on our own um, uh, website or really anywhere. It'll give you a lot of tips and tricks. The State RTAP Managers Toolkit, uh, which provides what straight RTAP managers need to run their programs. And like I said, the Transit Managers Toolkit, I'm very excited about that. Um, you can take a look at it now, but take a look at it in May, and you'll see a, a brand new toolkit. Okay, so I focused here with some pictures from our marketing toolkit. If you are doing a website or a brochure, you can download royalty-free images, uh, clip art, templates to use in all your marketing, and there's step-by-step -step guides about how to do that. Uh, we also include in all of our toolkits regulations, templates, forms. Uh, we have in our marketing toolkit also transit benefit statistics to show the value of transit. And in our Find Anything Toolkit, instructions for helping people find transportation, especially if you're a public librarian or if you're in a, um, a, a social or human service agency, you might get calls or walk-ins about people, how do I get a bus from here to there? So look at that and uh, you can find answers. So webinars, obviously you're on a webinar now and we produce a lot of our own webinars. Um, on our webinars page, you can look at our upcoming or recent webinars, and we have the full uh, YouTube uh, inlays, so you can watch them right from our web page. Uh, we have them on our own products, as I said, and our partner products. The one on the bottom shows uh, one we did for the um, TCRP, the Transit Cooperative Research Program. So uh, it's a sort of step-by-step -step what they're all about. And um, then I showed a little bit on the top about our YouTube uh, channel, which has all our webinars arranged into playlists. Uh, please feel free to follow us. We have um, Join the Conversation peer roundtables. We've had them and we'll repeat these every year for uh, transit managers, for state RTAP managers. We're having an upcoming one for tribal transit managers. We hope you can join that. Now, that it's not a webinar, it's just talking. So everybody gets to talk about what they've been doing and share best practices. So it's really helpful and a lot of fun. And we have uh, summaries posted on our website of those too. And Twitter chats for all of you uh, Twitter followers. Um, we do those uh, quarterly and they're always on a different topic, although we might repeat at some point in the future. We just had one on the zero emission transition in partnership with the uh, Center for Transportation and the Environment, CTE. So um, you can view transcripts, you can view summaries, and certainly while the chat is going on, you can participate. So speaking of Twitter, let's get social. Uh, we have a QR code postcard. If you want one, just let me know. Um, and it, you can uh, get online quickly with your phone to our website, our e-news, our Facebook page, our Twitter page, our YouTube page, and our LinkedIn page. Our latest addition to our social family is Instagram, which will be on the next iteration of our QR code postcard. And um, in Instagram, we're just showing uh, photos of beautiful buses and beautiful rural roads. So it will give you inspiration for your own marketing. But a lot of our social media, like this top picture is showing a post in our Facebook page, will celebrate things like Transit Driver Appreciation Day and give people a chance to comment and share their own good news stories. So um, please feel free to join us on our social media. And we want to connect you with experts. We have a lot of expertise in our staff. But um, sometimes we, and often we have to go outside to our trainers, to our uh, state RTAP managers, and to our um, uh, different um, peers. So here's that Nebraska question. Uh, you can see who the Nebraska person is in our directory of state RTAP managers through our list of FTA tribal liaisons. And you can request technical or peer assistance. So if you want an actual peer mentor, somebody who will 
who's done something who will guide you through the process. We can see who might be available to help you with that. Uh, the trainers, you can contact them yourself if you want somebody to come give training to your organization or at a conference you're hosting. And uh, we also have lists of other forums and technical assistance programs on a national and regional level. We have a forum on our Facebook page for our rural transit managers. If any of you fall into that category and use Facebook, please uh, ask to join. And then you can ask your own questions and your peers will chime in with great answers. And then of course, conferences. Our library travels to many, many conferences, uh, like I said, Nebraska, and our upcoming conference in September is our fourth National RTAP Technical Assistance Conference, charting new trails for rural and tribal transit. So um, we're opening registration tomorrow, so uh, we hope that you come, and that's a really great way to connect with a lot of other transit experts and professionals. and. I'd love to meet some of you in person. And speaking of meeting you in person, uh, if you're in the greater Boston area, we're about a half an hour north. So uh, we would love to have you come for a visit. And uh, here's some photos of uh, some recent staff and visitors uh, going clockwise. The first visit shows some of the Massachusetts library service, library system, librarians visiting the library. Photo after that is our Resource Center Assistant, uh, Rachel Hobson, who can give you a great tour. Uh, then the gentleman looking at some of our books is Michael Noel, one of the trainers listed in our directory of trainers. And then we have a student who recently came from Simmons University who is doing a term paper. Uh, she got to choose any special library and we were very pleased that she chose ours. And then these aren't visitors next to that. That's just some of our tech briefs and other products that you'll see. And um, if you visit, you will definitely leave with resources, books, discs, uh, giveaways, anything you want. So there's a lot of ways to contact us. You can call us. You can go on our website and live chat with us um, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. And you can email us, and uh, we hope to, you know, be in contact with you, answer your questions. Um, we're happy to, uh, you know, whatever you want to talk about. So we do want to hear from you after this webinar. So now, going to open it up for your questions, and that's the end of the PowerPoint. So I'm going to go back. And, sh and share my webcam and so Sally did you want to see what questions we have and ask them and I can go online and do a live demo and what okay well uh, I'll give people a chance to type their questions into the question box or ask to have your um, microphone unmuted if you want to ask the question yourself. <clears throat> In the meantime, I have a question. I know that a number of your um, items are available to transit people, not specifically to public libraries, but if a, if a transit organization asks for some items from you, books, et cetera, and they give one to the public library, that seems to be a good place for it to be, would you be upset if that public library added it to their collection? Um, actually, our resources are 100% available for public libraries. And like I said in one of the earlier slides, uh, one of the reasons we're doing this webinar is we hope that public libraries uh, who have um, transportation providers and bus drivers and other staff in their neighborhoods will ask for some of our books so they can have them in their public library collections. And that way people can easily borrow them. So um, yes, absolutely. They don't have to uh, worry about that. If they're from a, a library and they want our books, um, please just request them. Great, thank you. Thank you, Sally. I thought that was the case, but clarifying is always a positive thing to do. Okay. So does anyone else? I don't else know if I can see the written questions. 
I, I don't really see the written questions. I think only you do, Sally. So if there's one typed in, may you please read it aloud to me? The only one I have so far is the one you answered about um, how to find out if there's a rural and tribal transit um, service in Nebraska. So now we've learned how Nebraska. to look on your web page there and find that out. So, oh, look, there we go. Thank you. Okay. So we're in tribal transit now. And if you want the FTA tribal liaisons. Okay, so let's see who is in Nebraska. I'll do control F for find. And um, there's nobody in Nebraska, but let's see who, where, because it's all FTA regions. Okay. And let's see where Nebraska falls. <sighs> Nebraska is in Region 7, so go down to Region 7, Kathy Monroe, and here's her contact information, her mailing address, her phone, and her email is the FTA Tribal Transit Liaison. And another thing you can do is go to your state RTAP directory, our state RTAP directory, and select by state. Nebraska, and that will show um, Carrie Ruse is the RTAP manager for Nebraska. And again, like we're national RTAP, each state has an RTAP, so she is amazingly knowledgeable about all things Nebraska. So if you okay. have a question about, you know, anything about RTAP, she uh, covers the Nebraska Department of Roads, Rail, and Public Transportation. You can contact her as well for Nebraska questions. Uh, have any other questions come in? We do not have any other questions, but I'm guessing as people think about what you've told them and, and shown them with your PowerPoint and your uh, web page, they might come up with something a little later and they now know how to contact you with a question or um, Carrie Roos. Right, right. And if they come to our um, conference, they'll be able to meet. I'm sure there'll be, you know, a number of people from Nebraska and plenty of other states. Um, we have a lot of topics that we're going to be covering, including working with tribes, different tribal topics and other transit topics. If there's any students on this webinar, they can submit a poster and possibly have it be shown at our conference. So um, I wanted to show you e-news right here. This is how easy it is to sign up. Just like that. And uh, really, here's all of our buttons, um, the web apps, the webinars, technical assistance, if you need technical assistance, just fill out a very easy form. And there's a lot more about tribal transit for the purpose and who asked. Uh, we have a topic guide. Um, and for the state RTAPs, we have a whole toolkit for that. Uh, about, you can view and see everybody in our staff and contact us directly. Uh, these are ways to connect with us. So really just play around with it. And um, we recently added a site index because our site has so much and that's another easy way to find out what we have. And if you wanna find out if we have anything on our web pages about Nebraska, let's just check. Yep, we do. Nebraska, Nebraska, Nebraska. Yay. So that's a quick and easy way to get to information okay. about Nebraska. And your webinars are there are exactly. I'm, I'm assuming after they've happened, you have them in your um, webinar archive. Is that right? Yes, yes. After this webinar, after we get your recording, we will share it. Um, right. Here. With the date, the, the uh, recording, our PowerPoint, and um, 
some things have a Q&A document, but um, if this one only had two questions, we probably won't do that. Right. Okay. okay. Well, thank you so oh. much, Sally and Nebraska Library Commission. We do have a thank you. It says, thank you, Kara. Good to see, hear you again. Have a great day from Scart Bob Bartles, who has now left the webinar. Oh, and we have another okay, um, another thank you too. So this has been very oh, interesting. Wonderful. I really appreciate uh, your coming, sharing this information with us all. And we have now have a web, web page to look through and discover so many things that might pertain to things we're trying to get done and someone to contact. Oh, wonderful. And for your question, we, we really do hope to get your books, our books in your libraries. So please do ask us if there's any you think would be helpful to your library users. Thank you so much. And okay. thank you for being with us today, Cara. Kara, sorry, I said it wrong. Um, we really appreciate your time and information. And um, you might be getting some questions in the future from people who have curiosity about things that you talked about today. So I'm going to end oh, the Oh, wonderful. Webinar. Well, that's what we're here for. Great. Yay. Bye, everybody. So if you stop sharing your screen, we can, um, I can get back to my information over here. Oh, okay. There we go. Thank okay. you. Okay. Is that good? And yes, and I just want to say that we have a, a list of webinars coming up in the future. It's every Wednesday at 11 or no, 10 o'clock Central Time. That's where we're located. So you're welcome to join us again. And thank you one more time, Kara. Bye, everybody. <laughs>